Over the past hundred years, great things have happened here. Groundbreaking things. Things that changed our world for good. That changed our world for better. But this is not UCLA's story. It's yours. Your parents. Your children's. Your neighbors. It's a story that starts here in LA, but belongs to all of us. Because it's always been about we. And what we can let there be. I'm Angela Sanchez. I am pursuing a degree in Master's of Student Affairs at UCLA. I'm from Los Angeles, California. When I was attending high school and applying to colleges, I was homeless for my last years of high school. To do my homework, I went into our dormitory's closet, work until whenever I got my homework done, then printed out at school. Education is something that I care about. I have a passion for it. And just because you're homeless doesn't mean that higher education should be out of reach or that education in general should be out of reach. UCLA is not just a university of intelligent people, it's also a university of people who believe in giving back. We're all on this tiny little planet on shared adventure. And this is a great opportunity to understand the fundamental building blocks of our universe. When I was studying, there certainly weren't a lot of girls studying math, science, and engineering. And it's really been a priority to bust that concept, showing that it's not just boys that do science, it's girls. They know how to be able to take whatever new invention, whatever new discovery or innovation that they have, and turn it into something that's good for humanity. At UCLA, faculty from all of these different disciplines are coming together to collaborate. Imagine an invisible technology that you can use to modify cancer drugs. Nano diamonds are five nanometers in diameter. That's a thousand times smaller than the width of a human hair. And by simply injecting this material into a cancer patient, we can significantly reduce the size or even eliminate tumors. It's the place where people who are interested in healing and overcoming disease of various kinds, and people who are interested in the impact that the arts can have, can come together. UCLA is a place that invites that kind of interdisciplinary action. And frankly, I need it for my work. We all need it in order to make the kinds of incursions to address the problems of our time. The work that I do is trying to develop new ways to treat blood diseases. One type of patient we've worked on are the kids with no ability to fight infections. My baby was around six weeks old at the time, and I was informed that she had absolutely no immune system. Anything can get her sick, and anything that can get her sick could kill her. Dr. Cohn at UCLA had a gene therapy trial that she could qualify for, and it was the last spot. I was so blessed. I was blessed the moment my children were born, and honestly, I was blessed the moment we got that spot in Dr. Cohn's trial. We need to support these minds, and we need to support this research because no kid should be maintained. They should be cured. I kissed my daughter for the first time two weeks ago. She's 19 months, and I finally just kissed her on the mouth. Do you know how amazing that was? People feel very connected to UCLA, sometimes because they were students here, or because they know the good that the university has done and can do. What drew me to the UCLA Community School was its commitment to serve the neighborhood and the community. I want to create an environment where the kids in our neighborhood feel cared for and know that they belong. By just being part of this community, I have more educational opportunities. Back in Mexico, I didn't think about college. Now I want to be a doctor to help my community. That is my biggest dream. There is always an opportunity to be able to get a helping hand at UCLA and then beyond that. Never have I ever hit the wall. Never have I found someone who didn't want to help me. Never has it not been worth it. My name is Octavio Sanchez, Staff Sergeant, United States Marine Corps. On June 16th of 2005, my platoon and I rolled over an IED. Dad, who was you on the 
this one. Yeah. Huh? Did he die or he was still alive? No, he, he's, he's still good. Did he get burned? Yeah, that's Eric. He's the one. He, he didn't make it. Work. He died? Yeah, he passed away. I had 69% third degree burns to my entire body. I was at a point in my life where everything that could be done had already been done. Operation MEND is a program designed to provide services to wounded veterans of Iraq and Afghanistan conflicts. Octavio just basically had two nostrils and some burnt skin. We can use the forehead to reconstruct the skin of the nose uh, to put things back together. So you can see, totally changed his appearance. The Operation Man family, the UCLA family, they gave me a second chance of blending in with normal population. I think it's important to share the story to those who might not have heard what Operation Man does, what UCLA has done. There's uh, no reason why you should look at what you can't do. You have to focus on what you can do and prosper from that. When you have a background that has been enriched through not just a curriculum, but through people, through experiences, and you want to continue that, how are you going to do it? It's my job to do what I can, where I am, with what I have. Let there be discoveries. Let there be new facets in medicine. Let there be bridge building. Let there be a brighter tomorrow. Let there be smiles in the face of adversity. Let there be tiny miracles. It's really important to go out and talk about how the universe in which we live works. To change the way that medicine is practiced. To invest in this community. To know students on a more human level. To develop new treatments. To be taken care of. To try and heal. All of it is possible. Let there be a shared vision. Let that vision be a beacon that illuminates our next century. Let our future eclipse the greatest achievements of our past, because together there are no limits to what we can let there be.